Hi everybody, my name is Jaden. I'm Eli. I'm Jason. And we are the Yahoo and the Tour YouTube channel. And it is a beautiful day down here in South America. We hope that you guys are having a beautiful day wherever you are. Our family is your family. Your family is our family. <laughs> and that is Jericho, our dog. One of the nine pities that we have that is sitting there begging Eli for a bite to eat. And so... This is um, another day of reading here, and um, Jade, will you please put your hand on the other dog and make sure he's not barking, and we apologize for all of these in, uh, dogs that are just barking. It's, it's hard to control them, obviously. We are the family who believes that the laws, statutes, and commandments of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy is the laws for today. It's the laws for all of us. And in scriptures, it tells us that for all generations, these laws are for all of us. In fact, what these laws come with of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy is they come with blessings and they also come with curses. It comes with blessings if we keep them, our creator, Yahuwah, Elohim, will bless us. But it says he will also curse us if we don't keep the laws, statutes, and commandments of it. Now, sometimes the, the, the biggest curses that you have are the blessings that you never end up getting because you don't understand that you should be getting blessings instead of curses. Now, all of us, my friends and family out there, are captives. We are all spread out. We are all spread amongst the nations. Look to your left, you'll find Gentiles. Look to your right, you'll find Gentiles. There's Gentiles all around us. We are completely spread from to the four corners of the earth, spread among the Gentiles, exactly as Scripture says we would be. Now, we are in the end days. We are in the end times. We are getting very close to when our Messiah, Jesus the Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, his Hebrew name is Yahushua. That is our king. He is going to be coming back he's going to be extracting all of us from the four corners of the earth no matter where we are if you are a child of the most high if you are a an ebri a hebrew person our messiah is going to come back and he's going to grab you now as we go through the book of hosea and today we're on chapter nine it is about past prophecy and it is also about future prophecy now, what we're talking about in Hosea 9 is we're talking about the 10 tribes of Yisrael, the 10 lost tribes of Yisrael right here that ended up in captivity in 721 BC. Now, the book that we're doing is one of the prophets, the Nebium, Hosea, and we also had uh, these other prophets as well during this time. And this is after the time of King Solomon and after the time of King David. And this is during the time of all of these kings right here. These were the northern tribe kings of Yisrael. And although one or two of them may have done a couple of okay things, our creator uses evil people to carry out his will all the time. And so all of these kings did not guide their people into the laws, statutes, and commands. All of these kings did not take care of of business and taking care of business is taking care of our creator, taking care of our Elohim. And so as we are reading into this, um, this is the story of what we are doing. Now, before we get going, I would like to invite everybody over to yahscriptures.com. Now, yahscriptures.com is now doing pre-orders for a limited edition scriptures that is the cheapest scriptures anywhere that you will find. You will find large print, 103 books into, in this entire thing for $59. This is all of the Old Testament. This is all of the New Testament. And this is most of the Apocrypha that we can find. And it has been completely restored. Every name has gone back. Instead of seeing the, the pagan name of God, you will see Yahuwah. Instead of seeing Jesus which is there were no J's in, there were no J's until the year 1524 when the letter J was invented. Prior to that, they had his name as Iesus, I-E-S-U-S. -S. 
Neither of those are the names of our Messiah. Neither of those are the names of the Son of the Most High. His name is Yahushua, Yeshua, something of that sort, very, very close to that. And this is where the restored names have completely changed and have been put back. And this is an amazing book, large print that you will not find anywhere else ever. Now, we are about five months away from having five to six months or less, somewhere around there, Massimino, more or less, to getting these from where we are, are having them shipped from. They are, they're, um, again, limited edition, large print, um, with, and it has a beautiful front cover with a dust cover on front of it as well. And it is, um, it's available right now. And if you guys want to place your pre-orders, that would help us out tremendously to understand uh, the need for this, to see if people are, are after this. And again, the Sefer charges $95 plus add-ons for something lesser than this. And the uh, the grifters, the Hallelujah Scriptures, the rip-off carn artists that have been ripping off the world for a very long time, charge over $400 for scriptures lesser than this. And this is a bigger font. It's a bigger text. It's a better build. And it is available right now. So if you guys are looking for a gift or looking for to get this and get your name on this, we are taking the pre-orders for it right now. Um, please go right here. I will leave a link in the bottom. Gentlemen, how in the world are you guys doing? Good. Nick. How's everybody? Good. You guys uh, surviving the week? Yeah. Yep, so All right. Far. You guys ready for dog baths today? I guess. Yep. Okay, and so we will be reading out of Yah's scriptures right now, and so we are heading over to Hosea, Hosea 9. Okay, gentlemen, yep. lock and load? Yep. Okay, 9. O Yisrael, do not rejoice with exultation like the peoples, for you have whored from your Elohim. You have loved a love fee at all threshing floors. Threshing floor and wine press shall not feed them, and new wine shall fail in her. They shall not dwell in the land of Yahuwah, but Ephraim shall return to Mitzrayim and eat uncleanness in Ashur. Okay, so why is it saying it's going to return to Mitzrayim? What, what uh, is it? It's basically it's scattered among the nations again. So basically the ten tribes, they get scattered back to Mitzrayim. They get scattered back to Ashur. They get scattered to all these lands. And where do these guys originate from? Uh, when, when, where did Moshe find these guys? You, back in Mitzrayim, Egypt. Right, going back to Mitzrayim. And in Mitzrayim, they had they didn't have, um, they had multiple gods, right? They had multiple, they, their, their religion was far different than the ways of our creator. Verse four. They do not pour wine offerings to Yahuwah, nor are their offerings pleasing to him, it being like bread of mourners to them. All who eat it are defiled, for their bread is for their life. It does not come into the house of Yahuwah. What do you do for the appointed meeting and in the day of the festival of Yahuwah? For look, they shall go because of destruction. Mitzrayim gathers them up. Moth buries them. Nettles possess their valuables of silver. Thorns are in their tents. The days of punishment have come. The days of retribution have come. Yisrael knows. The Nabai is a fool. The man of the Ruach is mad because of the greatness of your wickedness. And great is the enmity. Now, these are hard words. These words are essentially our creator divorcing his people, separating his people, putting them into captivity. Why? Because they hoard. They went after foreign mighty ones. They, they slaughtered to other entities, to other, other fake deities. To, to deities of wood and stone that cannot hear, cannot see, cannot breathe, cannot do anything. They married them. They interchanged with them. All of their women, all of them, they married outside of the people they were supposed to. They, they, they became the world. So when we're looking at how does this apply to us today? It, so we want to be those people that are Yah's people in er, everything. So going back to, to verse 8. Elohim's watchman over you. Elohim's watchman over you, Ephraim, is the Nabi, but a trapper's snare is in all his ways. Enmity is in the house of his Elohim. They have deeply corrupted themselves, as in the days of Giba. He remembers their wickedness. He punishes their sins. I found Yisrael like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your fathers as the first fruits on the fig tree in its beginning. 
They themselves have gone to Baal, Peor, and separated themselves to shame and become as abominable as that which they loved. Ephraim is like a bird. Their esteem has flown away, no birth, and none with child, and no conception. Though they bring up their children, I shall make them childless without man, for it is woe to them when I turn away from them. And this is this is should be the woe to us, right? Knowing that our Elohim, if he divorced, if he got rid of the people that were considered his people, his chosen people, because they did not choose him, then the same thing can happen to us. And walking these lands, walking this world without an Elohim that has you in the palm of his hands is a very scary thing because we are up against demons and devils and darkness and Hasatan and scriptures clearly says that those who keep the law, statutes and commandments become a target of Hasatan. In fact, those are the people he hates. He doesn't hate the Christians. He doesn't hate the Mormons or Catholics. They're already his. They are already his people. They do what they want to do, worship how they want to worship, and it's exactly what Hasatan wants. So he's not going to go after them. He's going to enhance their lives. He's going to make their lives better. That's why you're going to see rich Christians all over the place. And all of these people are extremely wealthy, most of them. Now, let's continue on. Oh, what verse are we on? We're on uh, 13. 13. I have seen Ephraim, like Zor, planted in a pleasant place. But Ephraim shall bring out his children to the murder. Now, again, who is Ephraim for anyone who doesn't know? It is the kingdom. Northern house of Yisrael, the house of Yisrael, right? The Also the, uh, you know, what, what are the names of them again? We yeah. have Yisrael, Yish, uh, Ephraim, and uh, Joseph. Joseph. Joseph, house of Joseph, house of Ephraim, and the house of Yisrael are the names that are common for the northern tribes. But it says they're going to bring out their children to the murder. 14. Give them, O Yahuwah, give what? Give them a miscarrying womb and dry breasts. All their evil is in Gilgal, for there I have hated them. Because of the evil of their deeds, I drive them from my house. No more do I love them. All their rulers are rebels. Ephraim has been smitten. Their root has dried up. They yield no fruit, even if they bear children. I shall put to death the precious ones of their womb. And then this is the big part right here. This is how we know that you guys are the ten part of the ten tribes, if you so choose. 17. My Elohim rejects them because they have not obeyed him, so that they become wanderers among the Gentiles. Now again, folks, look to your left. Who do you see all around you? Step out your door. Who do you see all around you? Look at the way of the people. Look at what they do, how they behave, what they, who they worship, how they worship, right? We are all in captivity. We are surrounded by Gentiles, and you do not want to be called a Gentile. There is no house of Gentile in scriptures. A Gentile means you are out of covenant with our creator. You want to be in Hebrew. You want to cross over and you want to obey the laws, statutes, and commandments if you want that life in eternity with our Creator, with His Son, in a place that is far better than the world we are walking. And these are the choices that we have to make as a people. Is will we serve our Elohim or will we serve Hasatan? And by default, if we are not obeying the laws, statutes, and commandments of our Creator, we are serving Hasatan. So with that, guys, I hope that you guys are finding something out of the series that we are doing. Much love to all of you guys. We love you all, and have a wonderful day. All right. Shalom. Shalom.